This video focuses on extracting dates from text values. And this can have different challenges in Power Query. So let's see what kind of details I can provide you with to make your life easier. So it may be that you're working with a data set that actually has your date values in a very funny format. And Power Query sometimes recognizes that, like when you change the data type, but more often than not, actually there might be some difficulties. So let's delve into how we can work with those dates when they're hidden in text values and how you can extract them so you can better work with them in your data set. So the first dates I wanna show you are in set one and they look as follows. So for example, the first line shows a year and then the month and then the days. And the other versions we have sometimes have a dash there, sometimes they have a dot, sometimes the order is just slightly different. And let's see what Power Query does with this by default. So if we want these to be uh, like dates, you could, for example, say that you want to change the data type here and it recognizes them all. But for our example, let's add a custom column. We're going to call this one date. And this video will focus on the, the function called date from text. And the date from text function uh, requires a single, uh, the, the first argument for sure is mandatory. And then it optionally has a second argument, which we will look at in a little bit. So provide it with a text value first. And what it will do is it will try to convert the text value to a date. And in this case, when we look at it, all of the transformations here uh, were successful. So as you can see, a lot of dates are actually recognized. But even though it looks like there's a lot of variations, Let's have a look at set number two. So set number two looks similar at first sight. So also with days, months, and years, it's just in a different order or with a different separator. Now let's see what happens when we do the same thing here. So we can again do date from text and we will reference the, the first text column. And then again, we will write, uh, this should be a date. Now in this case, all of the transformations that Power Query tried by default have failed. Now your result may look different because this is always done by default with the culture in your system. So if it's configured for English, it will try to do it based on an English culture. And if you're in a different country, it might just uh, do it with the, in a different way. So results might be slightly different, but for the example, I just want to show you that sometimes the transformations don't work. However, we can start making uh, the transformation more successful by using the optional second parameter. So let's move this to a new line. What can we do to make this work? So the function allows you to have a second argument, which is the options parameter. And it allows you to give a format of your date, even though it's in a text now. So to do that, you can open a record with a square bracket, and then you write format equals, and you open some quotations. And now you can input the form that uh, the, the format that your text value is in. So it's the format of the, the, the date that you need. So if we look at the first line, it shows us that it starts with the, the day. So we can write two times the D that represents the day. Then we have two, uh, uh, two digits for the month. Now the months are represented by capital M because the, the lowercase M is actually for minutes. And lastly, we need the years, which is the lower letter Y. Now, if I press enter, you're gonna find that the first one actually works. Now the formatting only worked for the first one because each formatting on these cells is different. And you can just make some slight adjustments to make it work for others. So for the next line, for example, it starts with the month and we can move the day here. Now we go to the third one. It actually starts with a year and from the year it goes to the day and then it goes to the month. So you see the third one works. Now you can do the same for month, month, day, day, year, year, year. And then we remove the rest. And now we move to, let's see. Ah, I made a mistake of the lowercase m's here. So change that to the capital M. And then actually the fourth one also works. And you can change that around. It even works with custom characters like uh, on line seven. On line seven, we have a separator of a dot and a star. And we have another dot and star. And it's about days and then come the months. And we only have two digits for the year in this case. And if you change it, you see the Power Query actually recognizes that as well. So it's very flexible in that sense. Now, 
Of course, in this data set, we have so many different ways, but I'm going to just show you a for formula that I cooked up that will transform each one of them, just trying to apply the different formats. I will uh, just copy paste it on the screen. So the formula that's on the screen now tries to apply the, the transformation of the, the text to a date with the different formatting. And if it fails, it tries another one. And it does that with the try otherwise construct. So it first tries the first function in the top. And if that returns an error, it tries the next line and the next line until it reaches the bottom. And if none of those transformations work and still returns an error, it will actually give you a null value. And to give you a quick view of that, the advanced editor shows you that this is the, the formula that I wrote. Now, this is not per se best practice because it's pretty tricky to find your dates like this. Like if you apply logic like this, it might be that you sometimes change around the day by the month. After all, the 5th of January might also be the 1st of May with this logic. But this is just to show that you can apply the different formats. Now that's data set two. We still have some other challenges that you might face. Let's have a look at data set three. So the third data set, instead of having just a day number and a month number together with the year, this one actually has the description of the, of the month. Now the description of your month might be different depending on the country you are in. So the first line, it says the 30th of March, 2022. And that is because MRT is the short way to show your month in the Dutch language. And going to the next line, Maart is the long way to show your month in the Dutch language from March. And the third one shows one that is for, uh, for French. Now, if Power Query tries to transform this, I will show you. We can create a custom column. And again, we will write date from text. Then, of course, we take the date, uh, the, the text value that we have. And now let's start out by the format that we need. So our format equals, so we have the day day, then we have the capital M three times for a short month, and we have the year four digits. Now, if Power Query recognized all of this, then we should be fine right now. But as you can see, there is an error, and that error says that Power Query doesn't know how to transform this to a date. It has tried that automatically with the culture of my system. So if you want to force another culture for the comparison, you can actually adjust the function a bit more. So let's move this line uh, to a clean one. And what you do is within the record that we created in the second argument, you can write a comma, and then you can write culture equals, and then you can write the, the, the short version of your, the culture of, your, of the country you want to compare. So for the Netherlands, that's quotations, and you write an L and L. And now the top one actually works. And if you want to try that one for the next line, it actually shows the month in the long version. You can write another capital M and that also works. And for the last line, I put the month June there for the French culture. So you can change this to French French and you'll find that the last line also works. So what have you learned here? First of all, that the date from text function transforms your text values on, uh, it, it just tries its best based on the culture of your system. And if that works, you're done. Second of all, if that doesn't work, you can indicate a formatting strain using the, the Y, M, and D. Now, of course, most of your situations will then be solved. But last of all, if you don't want to uh, depend on the, the culture of the system you're performing things on, you can even provide the date from text function with the culture. And this will make your query more robust and make sure that it works on any different system that you work with. And with that, I actually think you can tackle most of the problems you have extracting tech, uh, dates from your text values. I hope that worked. Let me know if there's any other issues you have with extracting date values from text. Perhaps I missed something, perhaps you know a better way. Let me know down in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for uh, uh, other challenges that you wanna have solved, also just drop it in the comments and I'll see if I can respond. See you on the next one.